Hey everybody, I'm crushing it 2021. This is day six. And what I had on my agenda to talk to you guys today about is about how you do one thing is how you do everything. Um, but if you're following me on social media at all, you probably have seen that I'm working on crushing some huge goals myself. And I had some, I had one of those days that was just, it was hard. I took on a huge challenge that I knew was a challenge for me in my business and my business growth and my personal growth, my personal development. But I thought it wasn't, I didn't know it was going to be as big of a deal as it has actually turned out to be. And it's been emotional because I've gone through all the avoidance behaviors. We should talk about avoidance behaviors one day. I went through all these avoidance behaviors. I even made a reels about avoidance behaviors. And what are avoidance behaviors? Well, they're what you do instead of doing what you should be doing to crush your goals. And then I went through my stories and my excuses and, and some of those stories and excuses are, I have to get this right, I have to get this right, and I have to get this right before I can execute that. And no, that's true because you just have to do it, right? And then I went through fear and panic and all of the things that I didn't know were there. And then I had to, I had to break through and start doing it because I'm accountable for my actions. Like I have to show up. Um, I'm getting some incredible coaching of my own. Everybody, you guys should all get mentoring and coaching. I hope you're utilizing this conversation as a mentoring and coaching conversation where you can use this to break through some of your own barriers and really make a difference for your life. But I'm going to be accountable for it. I have to show up and account for my activity, account for what I do, account for my commitment. And then I had all the stories about well, what if it doesn't go well? And what if I don't have anything good to report? Oh my gosh, just stories upon stories about stories. And you're always going to hit your stories when you're pushing through your limits. You're always going to hit up against the stories, whatever level or layer that story's at. And I just didn't even know they were there. I had all these other stories about why I wasn't doing those things and they weren't anything to do with the stories about why I'm actually not doing them. So at any rate, I cried, I broke down, I almost gave up and then I pushed through and did it poorly, but took action anyway. And then I felt better and then I pushed through a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's gone really well, actually well, well better than, I, well better, better than I thought it was going to go. I've had more success in my outcome than I thought. I haven't done as much of it as I've committed to or would like to, but that's okay because I feel like now tomorrow I won't go through so much emotional stuff because there was the emotional breakthrough to get me to do it. Then there's the emotional breakthrough that I actually did it. Then there's the emotional breakthrough of the results of the gratitude of why I'm grateful that I actually did it and why I'm getting the help and the coaching that I've needed to get me there. Like it's just been, I probably cried pretty ugly cry about three times today. So I'm not going to talk to you about the other stuff today. I'm just going to share this with you as our day six. You're always going to hit your upper limiters and you're always going to hit up against that next level of growth. And a lot of times it looks to you like you're going backwards, but you're not. You're just hitting up against that thing that's keeping you right now from being the greatest you you can be, but you can push through it. It's, it's scary and you got to take imperfect action and you just got to do it anyway. And, and you have to remember why you're going to do it. And we haven't really dug down as deep as I'd like to go on the reasons why we do things, but think of it. Well, when I was, whenever I was coaching with clients on weight loss or, you know, getting fit, they all, many, many times people came in because they were wanting to lose weight for a reunion or a cruise or a trip. And I always tried to help them dig deeper to a deeper why, because that weight loss isn't going to sustain you. So anything that's kind of superficial, it doesn't have a deeper, bigger meaning is going to be difficult to sustain for the long haul. So it can get you going, but you always have to tap into something deeper. And ultimately my deeper is why I do what I do. And why I do what I do is to break through all of the, the generations of family curses that have been passed down that I've wanted to stop perpetuating, wanted to stop the cycle of the abuse and the, um, a lot of abuse, all kinds of abuse, but also impoverished thinking, you know, lack thinking, a lot of struggle and lack. I have brought all kinds of struggle, lack into my adult life. 
but I want to, I want to do that because I want my daughters and then ultimately my grandchildren. I want my daughters to know that no matter what happens, no matter where they come from, no matter when they fall down, no matter the pain that caused to them or the pain that they might even perpetuate unknowingly on others or even their own children, that it's okay because they can pick themselves up they can dust themselves off and they can become better and they can overcome and they can break through and we can continue to break this so that each generation doesn't have to keep perpetuating these cycles. That's a much deeper reason than just, you know, I want to be successful in my business because, or I want to be successful at this because it, it means something so deep to me because ultimately it means that my grandchildren the, stop, the cycle stops now. My grandchildren don't have to continue to feel the pain. My daughters don't have to stay in relationships that aren't good for them. I want everybody that I love to be so happy and experience the best life they can possibly have. So that's it for me guys for day six. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this resonates with you in some way. Give some thought to your one primary goal. And if you haven't picked one primary goal, this will be my assignment for today. Pick one primary goal, one, that's your main focus. What is the one area that you really wanna focus on having a big breakthrough in your life? And ask yourself what the bigger meaning is. Why do you wanna do this? What's the higher purpose? What's the, um, well, I'll go back to weight loss. So I had one guy come in real quick, sorry. I had one guy come in one time. He was a young guy, but he had, he had young children. And he, if he kept going the way that he was going to go, he, when he was my age, he wasn't going to be doing so well. And I said, you know, your babies are little right now, but what happens the day your son comes home and, you know, you're so exhausted and overweight and feeling so poorly that he wants to go out and play some, you know, throw some ball and you can't do it. I mean, you can't keep up with him. What's that going to feel like? And I just started asking him questions that made him think a little bit deeper about his, his purpose, not his temporary purpose, not the superficial purpose, but why would he want to do this? Why would he want to create a lifestyle, a presence and a being of being somebody different, being somebody better, seeing himself differently for a bigger picture, for a bigger future. So what's that for you? Let me know. I'd love to hear down below in the comments or DM me or put it inside the group. And two things, um, let me know if you'd be open to doing a Zoom coaching, group coaching. And if any time this week when we go live, if you guys would be available to go, anybody wants to go live and do some coaching with me live, then let's do that as well. So let me know when you guys are available, what the best times are for you. And we'll try to vary it throughout the week when we go live. Mwah. Thank you guys. Keep crushing it in 2021. Bye.